Foreign Portfolio Investors or FPIs reportedly sold Indian equities worth 300 billion rupees just in the first 15 days of March 2025. The total outflow for the fiscal ending March 2025 at nearly 1.5 trillion was one of the highest since 2020. Meanwhile, China is seeking to hold a meeting between President Xi Jinping and global CEOs. The planned meeting comes as Beijing is trying to stabilize falling foreign investment flows into China in recent years. China is also keen for the support of international business leaders, many of whom have invested heavily in China as it fends off the US government's hostile trade tariff threats. So, with China's recent technology success in deep sea AI and efforts to lure global business leaders, the FII fund flow from India to China cannot be ruled out. In the worst case, it could also mean India losing some benefits of the China plus one policy of global enterprises. Therefore, India must particularly safeguard its turf when it comes to sectors where Indian businesses are competing directly with Chinese counterparts. India ranked third in terms of the number of research papers published on semiconductor chip design and fabrication between 2018 and 2023. India's rank was above Japan, South Korea and Germany according to the Emerging Technology Observatory maintained by Georgetown University, US. Indian organizations contributed nearly 40,000 research papers, which was 8.4% of the global share. And India's contribution to chip research grew 26% in the five-year period in line with the country's emerging focus on the critical industry. However, it seems China is the leader in the field, having overtaken the US and producing over 160,000 papers in the period, capturing 34% of the global share. The semiconductor supply chain is in fact concentrated in specific regions. The US is a leader in the chip design, contributing about 64% of the global market. In contrast, manufacturing and assembly activities are primarily located in Asia. Over the last 30 years, there has been a significant shift in the manufacturing capacity towards Taiwan, South Korea and China, which now together hold over 85% of the global chip foundry market. The regional concentration led to challenges in balancing supply and demand. And this was especially accentuated by the COVID-19 pandemic, highlighting the need for a diversified and resilient supply chain strategy. India has been progressing in multiple sectors of the chip design value chain. So far, there are more than half a million professionals aligned to chip design. Also, almost every product company and design house, including Qualcomm, AMD and Intel have a base in India. According to a report by Boston Consulting Group, Indian engineers account for about 19% of the global chip design talent. India's progress in semiconductor research is on the back of substantial increases in the government's budget allocation to semiconductor R&D, which incidentally grew by 1.5 times in the past decade. Driven by initiatives from the government, strategic partnerships and programs such as the semiconductor mission, PLI schemes and special economic zones, India now stands firmly on the semiconductor manufacturing map. Today, India manufactures just less than a percent of the world's semiconductors and for the majority, it is still reliant on imports. So, it is necessary for India to reduce its dependency on import of chips and improve its standing in the global electronics industry. As per estimates, the Indian market for semiconductor is expected to cross $100 billion by 2032 from around $40 billion in 2024. This will be on the back of increased demand of smartphones, consumer electronics, development in automotive technologies, automation and healthcare. Few companies that are already invested in India's semiconductor supply chain are Tata Electronics, HCL Technologies, Dixon Technologies, Scient and Ace Technologies. HCL Technologies already has a strong legacy of more than 25 years in the VLSI or Very Large Scale Integration Chip Design segment along with a rich experience of having worked 
with top chip manufacturers and design foundries across the globe. In addition, the company has recently opened a semiconductor design center in Hyderabad. Meanwhile, Dixon Technologies has entered into an agreement with a Taiwanese company, Foxconn, to help set up a semiconductor assembly as well as testing plant in the country. There is also an agreement between Tata Electronics and Taiwan's power chip semiconductor manufacturing company, PSMC. Scient has set up a wholly owned semiconductor business to focus on end-to-end -end turnkey application specific integrated circuit or ASIC design and chip sales. So, India's top semiconductor stocks are well poised to capitalize on the opportunities in both chip design and manufacturing over the next decade. Nevertheless, the industry faces hurdles such as shortage of labor, limited access to rare earth minerals and the need for a stable supply chain. The key problem here is that there will be stiff competition from both American and Chinese counterparts. In 2024, US's biggest chipmaker Intel received the largest government grant of $8.5 billion for building new facilities. It will invest up to $100 billion in chip facilities over the next 5 years. The world's largest semiconductor chip maker, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company TSMC, also won a $6.6 .6 billion US subsidy for producing the most advanced 2 nanometer processor chips. At present, most of the world's advanced chips, which are currently in high demand, are designed in the US and manufactured in Taiwan and South Korea. Of this, about 90% comes from TSMC. National security concerns and the fear of missing out on having the world's best chips have prompted the US to bolster domestic chip production. In 2022, the US government passed the CHIPS Act, promising $52 billion to secure the semiconductor supply chain. The US is going all out to set up chip fabrication plants to be less reliant on other economies. So, how does China's CEO meet impact India's semiconductor plans? The Chinese chip companies are rapidly investing in new semiconductor factories to try and advance the nation's R&D capabilities. China also needs to get around export controls imposed by the US and its allies. Those curbs are making it harder for Chinese companies to get access to the machines needed to make the most powerful chips. Such curbs have been slowing the development of China's high-tech sector, which is seen as a threat to the US. Also, China has tightened its grip on rare earth minerals, including gallium, germanium and antimony used in semiconductor production and has imposed export restrictions, particularly to the US, citing national security concerns. For months now, China and the US have been involved in a tit-for-tat export restriction game. The US hopes to cripple China's military and artificial intelligence advances as well as hamper its ambitions to become a global leader in clean energy and other technologies. The trade war is affecting global supply chains for chip and semiconductor manufacturers and pushing prices up. India's top semiconductor companies need access to both minerals and technology to accelerate growth and have a meaningful presence in the global supply chain. Therefore, developments that threaten the benefits of China plus one for India's manufacturing need to be thwarted with necessary policy and government initiatives. Make sure you study the semiconductor ecosystem thoroughly and keep the top semiconductor stocks on your watch list. This will help you probably buy stocks from a very long term perspective. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.